your chemistry professor has been robbed. Someone stole the student grade book and left a ransom note demanding $1 billion. Campus police have done a search and determined that the perpetrator is one of six students and have seized their pens. Can you match the ink on the ransom note to one of the six students' pens using chromatography? Let's find out. Okay, so we need to find out who that thief in our class is. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to take chromatography paper. This chromatography paper allows, will allow the ink to separate as we use a solvent to migrate up the chromatography paper. So on our chromatography paper, we're gonna draw a line across about one centimeter up from the bottom of the paper. And we're gonna do that on all three pieces of our chromatography paper. Okay, and then at the bottom and at the top, I'm gonna to number our students' pens that are potential suspects. Okay, so at this point, we have our chromatography paper. We've drawn a line one centimeter up from the bottom, and we've numbered one and two on this one, three and four, and five and six. We can run two suspects pins on one piece of chromatography paper. So now we're gonna take our pins and spot them at the bottom on the line that we drew one centimeter up. So suspect one was using a Sharpie. Suspect two's pin. Suspect three's pin, they were using something fancy. Suspect four's pin. Suspect five's pin. And suspect six's pin. This is the pin I use. I hope it's not this one. Okay, so you can see we've marked, we spotted our pins at the bottom of each chromatography paper. This is how they look right now. Okay, our solvent is going to be 70% isopropanol. Going to add this to the bottom, just to cover the bottom of a 600 mil beaker. You can see it's just covering the bottom of the 600 mil beaker. And then we're going to add our chromatography paper. And this is the bottom and that's gonna sit and rest in the beaker. We can run all of these in one chromatography chamber, which is the beaker. 
Okay, so the, chrom the chromatography paper is going to allow the solvent to migrate up it. And as it does that, the ink on the pen is going to separate out and various components, various chemicals in the ink are going to migrate either faster or slower up the chromatography paper. Hopefully, we'll be able to see one of the chromatography papers have one of the pins that match our perpetrator's pin. We're also going to cover our development chamber with a piece of saran wrap to, so that way the 70% isopropanol kind of saturates the whole chamber. All right, so you should be able to see here that our ink from our pens is starting to migrate up the chromatography paper along with our 70% isopropanol solvent. Okay, at this point, we've been allowing our ink to migrate up the chromatography paper for about 45 minutes. That's all we should need to determine who our perpetrator is. We're going to go ahead and remove the saran wrap. We're going to remove the chromatography paper and allow them to dry. We're not going to mark the solvent front because we don't need to calculate RF values for this experiment. We're just going to go ahead and remove these. And we'll let these dry. Okay, so at this point, our chromatography paper has dried. So here's our chromatograph of ink pens number one and two. Here's our chromatograph of ink pens number three and four. Here's our chromatograph of ink pens number five and six. Okay, so here's our perpetrator's chromatogram. So now we need to match our suspects, one of our suspects' chromatograms to the perpetrator's chromatogram. Okay, so here's our perpetrator's chromatogram. Here are the six ink pins that we tested. Who done it? <laughs> 